and girls, it's me, Mimi, and I am so happy to see you today. I'm bringing us another story. This is a story about animals. Do you like stories about animals? Okay, well before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe my channel. It helps me be able to bring more stories for boys and girls. And moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and uncles and aunties and everybody. So this story is called, You Don't Look Like Your Mother, Said the Robin to the Fawn, by Eileen Fisher. And the illustrations, the pictures, in this book are so beautiful. This is a very old book. Let's see. 1973. Can you imagine? It's almost 50 years old. It says here, to Carl. The robin perched where aspens grow and peered into the ferns below. Oh, look at that beautiful bird. An aspen is a kind of tree. And a fern is a type of vegetation that grows in the ground. Whose child are you down there, she said, with spots of white on brownish red? The fawn looked up and twitched an ear. My mother is a tan gray deer. There's so much to see. Do you see the little fawn? A fawn is a baby deer. And you see the robin up in the tree? A deer, the robin sat up tall. How does she know you're hers at all? With dapples big and dapples small, you don't look like your mother. <laughs> the robin stared her heart aslant whose child is on that milkweed plant she asked with stripes of white and black and yellow curved around its back the caterpillar blinked an eye you ask he said whose child am I my mother is a butterfly do you see the caterpillar? Do you remember that caterpillars become butterflies? That's why he doesn't look like his mother. A butterfly, the robin cried. You're not like any I have spied. You're long and round, not thin and wide. You don't look like your mother. Hmm. <laughs> Boy, these pictures are beautiful. Beside the pond upon its brink, the robin bent her head to drink. Whose child are you? She cocked an eye as someone's head and tail swam by. Where does she see somebody with a tail and a head? This robin has a lot of questions. Who, me, exclaimed the pollywog. My mother is a happy frog. A hoppy frog, how can that be? The robin cried excitedly. You don't look like a frog to me. You don't look like your mother. Hmm, that's interesting. What yellow balls of fluff are these? The robin chirped. They float with ease like bobbing puffs of sun moving sloth softly, one by one. Do you know what those are? Do you see them? They're chicks. That's right. Very good. 
A ball of yellow wagged its head. Our mother is a duck, it said. A duck, the robin cried, all white and feathered smooth and water tight. Very nice. I really can't believe it quite. You don't look like your mother. Hmm. Whose babies can these squeakers be inside the knot hole in this tree? The robin asked. I cannot think of whose children are so small and pink. A squeaky voice inside the house said, Squeak! Our mother is a... A mouse! That's right. See him? The little baby mice are pink and squeaky. A mouse all gray and velvety, the robin asked. How can it be? She knows you're hers. It's plain to see. You don't look like your mother. The robin fixed a beady eye upon a stream that ambled by. Whose child, so squat and strangely built, she thought, goes darting through the silt? Silt is like really fine sand that's found in rivers and lakes. What does she see? Did you see what she saw? Let's find out. Me? The insect gave a slip of its unusual lower lip. If you would like a straight reply, my mother is a dragonfly. So there's the insect and its mother is a dragonfly. A dragonfly, the robin frowned, the kind that flies and darts around on gauzy wings. Can it be true? There's not a sign of her in you. You don't look like your mother. Hmm. Do you see the dragonfly? Have you ever seen a real dragonfly? And they flutter around. They're so beautiful and they have those colorful wings. Then to her nest the robin flew. She laid five eggs of greenish blue. Do you see her nest? Can you find the eggs? We should count them. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. She brooded them as robins do, and then the strangest thing occurred. See, she's sitting on her eggs. She's brooding on them, keeping them warm. Each robin egg produced a bird. What naked, scrawny chicks! My word! But did the robin seek a clue and want to know whose chicks are you? They have their mouths open because I think they're hungry. And did she ever doubt? Oh no, she cared for everyone just so. And she sang, You're wonderful, although... She's giving him a worm. <laughs> you don't look like your mother. Her chicks don't look like her either. 
Isn't that funny? How babies, baby animals grow, and when they're born, they look very different. The end. The end. This was a good story. Isn't it interesting how families look? How families make up all kinds of different ways? How some families look alike and some families don't? But they're still a family. Families don't have to match. That's for sure. So, I really enjoyed this story. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so I can keep bringing you more stories. Okay. And moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and guardians and aunties and uncles and all the people that listen to my stories. I want you to know that my channel is made only for children and is rated only for children. So I want you to feel safe about leaving your little ones to hear stories from me, Mimi, your fairy book mother. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.